My name is Pericles Lewis. I'm the president of Yale NUS College, which is a new liberal arts college in Singapore, founded by Yale and the National University of Singapore. Well, what I was most excited to learn about is the way that liberal arts are developing here in India. And it was a great pleasure to hear from four new liberal arts institutions here. Um, They're all private and also to hear about the redevelopment of Presidency University in Calcutta uh, along the lines of liberal arts education. And so uh, I was very impressed with all of that. Well, one of the things that was really striking to me is the desire to found brand new universities here. I've been working in Southeast Asia and I've visited in East Asia where a lot of times they're very well established uh, major research universities and efforts at curricular reform take place within the existing universities. I think it's quite challenging and interesting that um, India is opening up these brand new universities. Of course, it'll be challenging at first to attract students, but uh, their vision is very bold, and I think it, it's an opportunity to do something really innovative and new. Typically throughout Asia, and partly as, as a result of the colonial legacy, uh, you have certain features of the universities that include early specialization, uh, often large classes, sometimes an emphasis on rote learning, and uh, I think a lot of Asian educational leaders from South Korea to Japan to Singapore uh, to here are looking for ways to break that down so that students are able to study broader range of subjects, to have more active learning, more discussion-based classrooms, um, to engage their students and in foster their creativity and their critical thinking. Uh, and I think that's very promising. Well, I think the smaller research institutions uh, have a very distinctive role in the Indian uh, system of knowledge production. And I think the thing would be to encourage undergraduates to, to be involved in this important research that's done here and to, to sort of stimulate their curiosity. I think there's a risk if undergraduates are just reading from textbooks and just learning sort of standard curricula. And what's much more exciting for them is to be drawn into current debates, current issues, current research, and that's something that IIHS can do. Well, it, it's great because we all have some shared ideas, but we all recognize that these work very differently in different contexts. So you have the presence of some excellent liberal arts colleges from the United States and also of some larger universities. Uh, I've come from Singapore, others from different parts of India, and the context is different in, in each of these cases. But some of the principles that we want to encourage, that critical thinking, uh, that creativity, those are things we all share. And so we're looking at ways to do that in, in a variety of contexts. Um, I think the Indian educational system has a huge amount of potential in it. There's such great human capital, intellectual resources there. I know that. Uh, Many Indian academics feel frustrated by bureaucracy or regulations and so on, but I think that there is a lot of potential and it just needs to be unlocked.